Hello and welcome. My name is Sebastian and we do today PostgreSQL aggregate functions. So mostly when you have the situations that you want to summarize something up, you want to know the minimum or the maximum or an average, then you use the aggregate functions. So we start first again with our sales table. So we have it here and the aggregate functions for sure we want to use on some numbers and we have here some sales data so this means amounts and we want to use the first one so we say we want to have the sum of all our amounts so just did i see how many revenue i have let's run this and there it comes to some 65,400 then I want to know what is the average sale price. Is this possible? Yes, 1,635. Then I want to know what is the minimum 900 and the maximum 2,500. And now someone comes to me and wants to know how many sales we had overall 40 okay great this is the simplest version of using these functions we go back once to our sum amount and now what happens when we use a certain transaction date comma some amount it will not work it will show us must appear in a group by clause and this is what we do now so we say we want to know all the revenue on the certain dates it's possible so that's why we use here the transaction date so we want to summarize all the revenues on the certain dates and the certainties we do here in the group by clause let's run this ah looks better oh, all my certain transaction dates and all the sums what we could now also do is order this sorry order by the transaction date so for each date we have it or we want to see a little bit what are our high flyers so we want to know the two so one two some amount and we want to know what our highest run this okay on the 7th of November we had our highest revenue we can also limit this and say okay please tell me every time just my top threes there we go and there we have it so this is how you can use the sum function in conjunction with a certain transaction date let's do something else we want to know for certain brand IDs how much was the sales or for certain product IDs let's do the product IDs so we do product ID and the same is again we have to use it in our where clause product ID let's run this okay for our certain products we have the certain revenues it doesn't look so nice here product IDs are not are not sorted so order by and then again our product ID ascending this should look really nice ah okay product ID 1 a sum of 3650 let's change it now a little bit again and do the average okay 
better is now that we will see okay what are actually my product ids which are giving me the highest revenues so we do again order by two so our average we want to sort it and we want to sort it descending and we want to have it just my top five with a limit five we can set this and then we run it and there we will see okay our product id 17 is the best product 2300 on average product id 21 or product id 4 with 2075 great so as you could see we could do here a lot of stuff with these aggregate functions and in the end i want to write you all down so this is even the count function which tells us okay how many i have then we have the sum function for instance for an amount or for a salary or what else just leave it like this then we have the minimum function sales for instance the maximum the sales and we have the average avg these are the aggregate functions used together with the group by this is important so as soon as you have a column inside your select statement which is not an aggregate function you have to use it again in the group by clause that's an important one don't forget it and that's all on the aggregate functions i hope you learned something and i see you next time